John Finlay has many happy memories of his school life at Aberlour House, including the first time he set eyes on Gordonston's junior school at the age of seven. It was an amazing day. I turned up, it was a spring term, uh, there was snow everywhere, driving up Speyside, it was absolutely gorgeous. And I was a bit intimidated by these big gates and very impressed and wow, uh, it was, I was in awe. But decades on, John, now 37, says he's seeking justice for an incident in 1990 in which he claims he was sexually assaulted in his dormitory bed by a teacher who he says had earlier given him painkillers for a rugby injury. He persuaded me that, you know, he'd given me these tablets under the, that it was their fault that I'd imagined it. Quite why a 12-year-old boy would imagine something as twisted as that happening, I've got no idea. The teacher, who is now deceased, was sacked by Aberlour House. The police became involved, but John's father, Andrew, a former Gordonston pupil himself, decided against prosecution after receiving assurances that he would never teach again. But the family has been told more recently that he did go on to work at another school in England. I was horrified to learn that he had taught again and felt an element of responsibility, if you like, that had we taken a different course of action, that couldn't have happened. I feel sick now thinking about it. A massive blow. Um, I regret deeply that even though I was only 12 years old, I should have had the common sense to say, no, this person should be punished for this now. John Findlay has just been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, which he believes was caused by the alleged assault. Gordonston is already looking into John's case, but he's challenged the school to take more responsibility for what he claims happened to him in the past. I wish nothing ill against the school. As I said, I have two young boys and I wouldn't hesitate in enrolling them in Gordonston um, and, and Avalar House, the junior school. However... As I have mentioned, they teach trust and, and responsibility and therefore by that same element you shouldn't shirk any responsibility. Gordonston stresses that because Aberlour House was run as a separate junior school at the time, records are limited. But it understands that the teacher was put on a registered offenders list. The school says it wants to draw lessons from the past, deal with the allegations in an open and transparent way and points out that it's recently taken steps to proactively address allegations of abuse. John, a management consultant, has recently been contacted by a classmate claiming he was abused by the same teacher. Now he says he hopes his decision to go public will encourage any other victims of historic abuse to confront the past. Jackie O'Brien reporting Scotland, Inverness.